What's up, everyone? Today we're making you are homemade fish balls. My name is Randy, and we are the Laos. We're on a mission to celebrate and pass down our Chinese heritage, one meal at a time. After 50 amazing years as a Chinese chef, my dad's finally retired, and he's here to teach you all of his secrets to make the perfect homemade fish balls, a dish he's made thousands of times. Uh, my dad is currently using tilapia, but as he mentioned, he's not super particular about the specific type of fish he uses. If you haven't already, check out our grocery run video to learn all about how my parents pick their fish and meats, as well as ways to purchase more environmentally friendly options. This fish ball recipe was originally part of our longer series on doing hot pot at home, and I felt like it deserved its own video and blog post, so here we are. If you're new to fish balls, this is an extremely popular type of recipe with a ton of different names and variations throughout Asia and parts of Europe. The foundation of this recipe is essentially creating a great fish paste. From there, usually you'll find these rolled up into balls, which you can then deep fry and lather in sauce, or boil them in soups or hot pots. Also, instead of rolling them into balls, you can also flatten them into patties and pan fry them, which my dad does quite often. Most Asian grocery stores sell pre-made fish balls, but this is a great way to customize your own healthy version at home. Let's After we flatten the fish, we'll fold it back onto itself a few times and then mince the fish again. After mincing the fish, we'll proceed to flatten our fish one more time. If you don't already have a Chinese chef knife, we have a link to buy my dad's exact knife in our description. Otherwise, you can get creative with spoons, spatulas, glass bottles, or anything else you have on hand to beat the fish into a fine puree. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. Come 
，唔好講話邊個好唔好食啲啦，我屋企有啲咪用呢啲咯嚇，方便，唔一定話要規定用邊只蝦。你總之你屋企有，我屋企就有咩我就用乜嘢，乾淨曬。啲蝦咧，我哋又咁切碎佢先。拍噶啦嗱，啊。I touched on this in our recent salmon video, but it's important to at least be aware of how we can support sustainable methods and sources of fish. While it might not always be feasible to shop in this way. As consumers, an easy way to do our part is by making sure we vote with our wallets. Monterey Bay Aquarium in California runs a free website called Seafood Watch, which has a ton of recommendations on how to choose and purchase seafood in ways that have the least environmental impact. Tina, two yang lu mai koi. Oh, ah, yu kilo bang yu yu, and my kilo bang ha yu. Wo li do wei si wu an si ge 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 yu yu. Wo li do wei bei wo liang liang wu an si ge ge ha yu la lu mai koi la. 如果你想多啲蝦肉，咪俾多兩隻蝦咯，冇乜冇規定嘅啫。嗱，個份量即係你中意，嗱撈埋佢蝦肉。有好多人咧，佢就係淨係魚肉，佢唔俾蝦肉。我屋企做咧，我通常我都有蝦肉俾落去。你知嘅啦，你平時食我都有蝦肉俾落去㗎。After mixing the fish and shrimp together, we、we'll、once again flatten it with the side of our chef's knife. 呢個咧就係我哋廣東人叫做魚滑，或者叫魚膠啊。膠就係啲膠質嘅膠嗱，咧魚膠、魚肉啊，呢個咧就好多用嘅，補補好啲滾水，俾個匙羹筆一嚿嚿咁擺落去整熟佢，亦啲或者你可以俾個煎廳咁煎熟佢又得。我哋今日咧就喺度打邊爐嘅，俾匙羹筆落嗰啲個湯度一個個好似啲魚球咁，呢個波波波仔波仔咁咯，係嘛？嗯，好啦，咁咧咁啊啲蝦肉。同啲魚肉已經撈埋曬啦，係嘛？睇到嘛？我哋而家撈啲芫茜同埋葱，撈埋佢，生四條、四五條葱啊，啲芫茜啊，幾條啊，咁亂一段咧果皮，少少果皮。屋企通常呢啲嘢我都系用果皮落去調料嘅。咁啊，撇出嗰啲魚嘅味道、腥味，要幾片姜。好啦，我哋而家咧，將撈好嗰啲魚滑先啊，俾佢嘢，俾佢碗嚟撈好啲魚滑先啊，咩先啊 ？To an empty bowl, we'll be adding a half teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of chicken bouillon, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, one egg, and five tablespoons of water. Mix it all together for about a minute. My dad used this amount of marinade for about eight ounces of fish and two ounces of shrimp, so you can adjust accordingly. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. Yeah, 
，一個茶匙咁多啦，橄欖油，又一個茶匙咁上下。好啦，基本上就係咁多嘢啦，我攪住攪啊，攪多啲嘅手嘅。Mix everything together for another thirty seconds。呢啲叫做我哋廣東人叫叫做魚球，魚滑魚球就係咁做噶啦。咁樣做咧，你可以一俾時間一一嚿嚿咁。喺落嗰啲湯度整一個嚿嚿就得，你成咁俾個俾個煎餅咁煎個魚餅又得，嗱睇啦，先。我哋儘量咧搞多啲手嘅，硬啲，嗰嚿肉會硬啲，知道嘛？嗱，睇到睇睇啦，嗱，我哋講，嗱，你用可以用攪拌機得嘅，我咁樣佢一樣嘅效果都 OK 嘅。有啲啊。傳統嘅一餐館做嘅咧，就搭佢，俾個手咁咁搭，啲個盤咁搭佢，得啦。點解啊？咁佢起膠啦嘛，硬唔啲，整到嗰啲魚肉佢會起膠，嗯，佢會硬啊。佢係俾手咁，啪一聲俾個大盤啊，唔係咁啊，用個大盤咁揦住，啪一聲，啪一聲揦住咁，啪一聲啊，知唔知啊？啊啊，嗯，得啦，咁樣搭佢幾次咧？咁啲魚肉咧就會硬啲啦，咁基本上都得噶啦。嚟嚟，起膠嚟先，先得啦。魚滑就整咗啦，嗱，整好之後咧擺入雪櫃，起碼半個鐘頭啦，先食得啦。知道嘛？呢啲係魚滑，一定要擺喺雪櫃。And that's my dad's recipe for homemade fish balls. You can turn them into balls by scooping them together with two spoons, and then you can cook them however you'd like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one.